I'm Max Sterling, welcome to LARP Mix. So, you've already seen my video where I restored these noble swords from Epic Armory back to their original condition using some Plasti Dip, but I actually want to alter them a little bit further and I didn't get to do that in that original video. See, I love the design, but the problem is these right here do not hold up when you're drawing them out of sheaths and sword hangers and stuff. And also, I tend to draw, I guess, right in that spot. So if you look, that's actually worn down through the plastic dip, through the latex and into the foam, just because of how it always drags against the same spot. So what I'm gonna do is remove these, probably this, change the uh, sort of identity of these a little bit, and then re plasti dip them and uh, you know, sort of repurpose them a little bit here for my game. I don't know if I'm gonna change the coloring or anything on them, but we'll just see what happens. So for right now, I'm gonna get started. And although this may seem very similar to that other video, uh, if you have latex weapons, I just want you to be aware that you can alter the physical structure of them as well. It doesn't have to just be a recoding. You can actually cut stuff off, sand it down, and uh, repurpose them a little bit as well. And maybe even re-genre them for a different game. So we're gonna get started here, and uh, I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. So, in order to remove whatever pieces you want to take off of a latex style weapon, you just go get some sort of blade. I'm using a very cheap sort of uh, box cutter here. You can use, you know, a razor or a sharp knife, uh, whatever you have on you. Most of these little pieces were already ripped off and re-glued on by me anyhow, so they come off, you know, fairly simple. But the key here is to try to cut it as close to the other surface as possible. So if you're trying to cut this off, you see I got it pretty close, but not as close as I could have. You don't wanna to have to sand anything if you don't have to. You wanna just try to get it as just really close to the other surface as possible. This way, all you'll have to do is just make sure that the foam is closed and then you can just plasti dip or latex right over top of it for the most part. Uh, if you have two hands free, it'll be a lot easier. Uh, I'm trying to hold the camera and cut this <laughs> with one hand and it's uh, a little bit difficult. So now that we remove those pieces, I decided to actually keep those two that sort of attach to the blade, but uh, these are gonna come off of here as well. They're not really in the way, but since I'm cutting stuff off, I might as well cut it off. And these little uh, like balls on the end, I've never particularly cared for those, so it's time for them to go. And you can see how we've altered this blade already. Now there's that little channel that runs through the cross guard. I'm going to clean that up a little bit um, with some heat and with a blade uh, just to make sure that that runs all the way across. Now as far as getting this foam to make sure it's closed, you can sort of flame kiss it. Um, just if you're going to do that, be real careful you don't melt anything. Um, what we're doing is just any of that foam we exposed, we want to make sure it's closed. If you don't want to do the fire, you can just use a sealer. Um, you know, I prefer to just use the sealer. It's real easy. You just paint it on there. Uh, now, as far as the plastic dip, I'm going to use this luxury metal that I used before on them. And, you know, pretty much you tape up the grip and go to town. Now, you can see it's really rough there around the cross guard. And uh, that's because the actual latex is removed from the blade at that point. It's actually starting to come off, so it's looking really rough. Now the Plasti Dip will cover that up, but it doesn't look that good. So when it's all said and done, this is pretty much what you get. I used the metalizer and a glossifier on it that you may have seen in other videos I've done. And as far as that cross guard, um, I couldn't build up the Plasti Dip enough. So I just wrapped some of this uh, creepy fabric around it that I got from the Halloween store. If you saw my previous video, I actually have the sword on in that video. Uh, and I used it at this one new LARP that I went to. It passed with no problem. And, you know, it worked out good. Plasti Dip definitely fixes these. But I just wanted to show in this video that you could take and alter a blade uh, and do some stuff to it. And it's not a big deal. Anyone can do it. And if you're going to redo a weapon or if it's failing safety due to something like falling off of it, it's real easy to fix if you're just removing stuff from it. So... I hope that this video uh, was of some interest to you. If it was, please like, 
subscribe and of course share my videos tell everyone you know about my channel and help me to grow and until next time adventure on